Jack Adams Award honors the NHL coach, a judge to have contributed the most to his team's success. The Adams Award was first presented to the NHL in 1974 by the Detroit Red Wings and the National Hockey League Broadcasters Association in memory of the late Jack Adams, the longtime coach and general manager of the Red Wings Hockey Club. This year's nominees are, with 15 seasons as an NHL coach under his belt, a man who's chewed a lot of ice cubes en route to producing <laughs> some of hockey's most successful teams. He's doing it again with the Buffalo Sabres, Scotty Bowman. The second nominee has been at the helm of the Washington Capitals for the last three years and turned them into an NHL contender, to say the least. And this year, he coached them to their best season ever, Brian Murray. And the winner of the Jack Adams Award is Brian Murray. Oh. It's certainly an honor to receive such an award, and I think the first question I was asked by the media prior to it, uh, do you and Scotty have to flip with the, the loser taking the award because of the tradition of coaches not lasting very long after receiving it? But I'm, I believe that the coaching award is a compliment to the hockey players that have played for us in Washington and to the organization from the ownership to our general manager, the coaching staff, and everyone that works within it. We're going to share the honor, and we're going to share the blame later on if anything should go the other way. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome back. And uh, speaking of all-stars, by the way, we should take just one moment to acknowledge some of the finest musicians in the whole world under the direction of Jimmy Dale over here with Mo and Guido and Rob and all the boys. The uh, Lady Bing Trophy goes to the player who best combines sportsmanship and skill. You don't have to be the A-team on ice to win anymore. You don't need a bunch of guys who blow dry their knuckles. You can do it with finesse and sportsmanship, and to present the Lady Bing Trophy as a guy who holds virtually every New York Ranger team record in the book, book Rod Gilbert. And with him, a member of Space Team Canada, as our astronauts are known. And this October, he rockets into space aboard the shuttle Discovery, Dr. Marc Garneau and Rod Gilbert. The Lady Bing Memorial Trophy is named in order of Lady Bing, wife of the then Governor General, who donated the original trophy to the league in 1925. The trophy is awarded to the player adjudged to have exhibited conduct combined with a high standard of playing ability. And now I want to tell you gentlemen that when I used to play wearing a helmet was taboo and the lady being there was no such honor but now you look at the video and they'll tell you why the Lady Bing Award was presented. And the award was Mike Bossy. Take a look at him.
Some players only dream of scoring 50 goals in a season. Mike Bossy does it on a regular basis. For the seventh straight year, Bossy topped the 50 goal mark despite missing 13 games due to injury. Last year's winner of the Lady Bing Trophy totaled 51 goals and 118 points, helping the Islanders finish first in their division. Bossy received only eight minutes in penalties this season and has only 125 minutes in seven full seasons. He's one of the game's most prolific goal scorers and most gentlemanly performers. The Islanders number 22, Mike Bossy. Also nominated for the Lady Bing Trophy is Rick Middleton from the Boston Bruins. Rick Middleton has placed among the top three vote-getters for the Lady Bing Trophy in each of the last six years. The winner of the award in 1982, he had 47 goals and 105 points this season. In 80 games, Middleton received only 14 minutes in penalties and has only 124 minutes in 10 seasons. The Bruins' leading goal scorer for the past six years, Middleton joins Mike Bossy and Wayne Gretzky as the only players to score 40 or more goals in each of the last five seasons. One of the best one-on-one -on -one players in the game. Rick Middleton. You know this is going to be a hard decision. I haven't played with Rick in the same team. And admiring Mike Bossy's exploit. The winner of the Lady Bing Memorial Trophy is Mike Bossy. Well, as, as far as fighting goes, I don't know how to fight. That's why I don't fight. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Professional Writers Association for voting me this trophy. And as far as thanking family goes, I think I've thanked them enough in person that it really isn't needed to do so now, but I'd like to thank them again anyway. Je voudrais aussi dire merci aux journalistes en français qui n'ont pas été remerciés ce soir encore. Merci. Now comes the biggie to present the Hart Memorial Trophy, a man who has symbolized at times the very heart and soul of hockey in this country. He was the first NHL player to ever score more than 100 points in a single season. He also won the Art, Art Ross Trophy five times, and he's not even from Kirkland Lake. I'm talking about Phil Esposito. And with him, one of Canada's most internationally respected artists. His paintings, such as the famous In the Crease and Lacing Up, capture both the discipline and the joy of physical achievement. Ken Danby and Phil Esposito. Go ahead, Phil. You probably know a little bit more about this than I do anyway. <laughs> okay. The Hart Memorial Trophy is awarded to the player judged to be the most valuable to his team. It was donated by the NHL in 1960 after the original Hart Trophy was retired to the Hockey Hall of Fame. This year, the nominees are, from the Edmonton Oilers, who else? Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky's domination of the NHL record will continue from this season's very first face-off. He scored points in a record 51 consecutive games, accumulating a staggering 153 points. Gretzky was named team captain this year, and under his leadership, the Stanley Cup champions enjoyed their most productive season, 57 wins and 119 points. The Hart Trophy winner for the last four years, Gretzky tallied 87 goals and 205 points, the second highest total in league history, second only to who else? Wayne Gretzky. The next nominee for the Hart Trophy is from the Washington Capitals. Rod Langway. In recording only their second winning season in club history, the Washington Capitals were again led by defenseman Rod Langway. Last year, Langway became the first U.S.-born player to win the Norris Trophy. This year, he anchored the league's stingiest defense and helped the Caps challenge for first place in the tough Patrick division right up to the final weekend. 
The team captain's ability to block shots and clear opponents from the goal area, his leadership and inspiration have helped make the Caps one of the league's finest teams. He's known as Washington's Secretary of Defense, Rod Langway. And the winner, as you guessed it, folks, Wayne the Great Gretzky. much. First of all, I would like to take this time to, as Michael said, thank the players, the writers, for voting me as the Hart Trophy winner. This year is a special time for me to win the award. I've been fortunate enough to play on a great hockey team and, and win it four times, and this is the fifth. But to win it this time and to be able to put it beside the Stanley Cup is something special. And I can't just I can't describe how how it feels to be able to set it beside the Stanley Cup. I'd like to take the time to thank the Edmonton Oilers coaching staff, of course, Glenn Sather. And you think that guy talked fast? You should hear Glenn talk when he's mad. <laughs> John Muckler and Ted Green, Roger Nielsen, of course, who helped out tremendously. But my teammates who were behind each other all the way, I'd like to take the time to thank my family, especially my mother and father, my girlfriend, all the times they've been behind me. But I want to take a chance of thanking a very special friend of mine who I know is watching. And when things are going great, you have a lot of people behind you. But when things are bad, I like him behind me all the time. I'd like to say hello to Joey Moss. I know he's watching. I'd like to congratulate all the other winners, all the people here who weren't fortunate enough to win. I congratulate them. And to everyone else, thank you very much for coming. That's, uh, that's all, folks. Howie Meeker will be going from table to table in a few minutes explaining exactly what happened here tonight. <laughs> And he doesn't know. But this was a first tonight. Our national network televising uh, our national hockey league honorees in our national game. And by the way, stay tuned for the national later on. I hope that you hockey fans across the country have enjoyed this first. Happy hockey to you. Have a good summer, and we'll see you when the puck drops next. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Ford of Canada. At Ford, quality is job one. Driving is believing. This is CBC.